Oh dear, here we go again. We've got to take a look for ourselves. Pick up Jennifer and head off to the boat for Jomboro Reef. It's about a month since they reported the bad bleaching out here. How are the corals now? So I haven't been out to Jomboro Reef since March. I was out on that trip with the previous journalist, Graham Redfern. There was a fair bit of fluorescence and there was bleaching of the branching corals but not the massives. Um, I'm expecting that the water temperature will have dropped a bit and it'll be interesting to see whether those corals that were stressed are still living or whether some have died. I'm expecting mixed results. Yes, that's what's interesting. Bleaching is very common but what matters is if there's coral death. In the past events there's usually been very little mortality. It's a fair way out to the reef, so it's good to talk to the crew about how the bad publicity affects their operation. And there's a bit of suspense in the air. What will we find? Well, over this part of the reef, below the reef top, there is only intermittent patches of coral, but it's looking pretty good so far. Ironically, some of the colours of these corals are brighter than usual. I'll just call it fluorescing. It's a stress response to high temperatures, but again, this coral is not looking too bad. I wonder if this chap reckons there's been some exaggeration about his home. Couldn't say this is looking at death's door. Well, this is the reef top, and it's absolutely spectacular. It's as good as any reef you'll ever see. A bit of bleaching, some fluorescence, almost no coral death. And the fish, this is not a wasteland, it's a wonderland. What a crime that the world has been given the wrong idea. Come to John Brewer Reef. If you're depressed about the future of the reef, this will give you great hope. So we're only looking at one small part of one of the 3,000 of the, of the reefs of the Great Barrier Reef. So this is not necessarily indicative of all the, the rest of the Great Barrier Reef. But what we were interested in was to essentially fact check the people from The Guardian and the ABC who said that this was in diabolical trouble. And that fact check has revealed they got it totally wrong. 